And with that, I think you kind of know that this review is probably going to be one of those type of reviews where I'm bashing on a film. But, you want to know who the movie stars? It stars Halle Berry, Halle Berry, Halle Berry, Halle Berry, Halle Berry. She was the finest black actress within the game of acting and she is so sexy actually now that i think about it i think zoe zadonna is the greatest actress or black actress maybe megan good maybe megan good too and since beyonce was an actor in some movies does she count it also stars martin landu and i don't even know what he's from besides entourage now would that be something you might be interested in i fucking love entourage can i review that instead bitch Fine! I'll review freaking BAPS! You wanna know what that movie's about? The movie is about Halle Berry living with a fat ass friend in a little ass apartment working at Bernie Mac's big ass shitty restaurant. That's why your fat ass is dead. I'm taking ten dollars, your dog gonna pay. I shouldn't have said that. Then they get the idea to go to California and leave their fucking boyfriend so they can live a better life because they some losers. Come on, baby. They're playing our song. Come on. Mm -mm. Used to be a song. Pause. Play that in slow motion. Damn. So they go to California so they could try out for a music video and be music video vixens. And Halle Berry can sort of get it. Okay, fuck it. She can't even fucking dance, but she can still act her ass off. That's when he attracted some Mexican dude, and he take her and her friend back to the mansion so he could give them a job entertaining some old motherfucker. And it ain't even Hugh Hefner. And they meet the greatest butler alive. How did you get past security? Begging is not permitted in Beverly Hills. Seriously, this butler is like the best thing of this whole movie. So we learn that their job is to entertain some old white dude who was in love with a black woman back in the 60s. So since there was segregation back in the 60s though, they couldn't be in love. But now that there's no segregation, somewhat. So Halle Berry end up staying at the nice ass man's mansion. And she be mooching off of him and she does that because he likes her or something. I don't know, but since they live in there, he gotta adapt the way fucking black women live by eating soul food and taking them shopping. And the butler didn't go to the motherfucking music store and he get the hottest tracks out at the time. Looking for the rap section as follows. Uh, two pack, two short, the dog pound, ice cube, ice tea, bitch better have my money and pull up to the bumper, baby. But in recent times, that playlist would be like this. Drake, Tiger, Wiz Khalifa, Gucci Mang, and Mac Miller, the rest of Young Money's album, and all of the Wayne's mixtapes you can find. The ultimate motherfucking playlist. Then they go out to eat, and that big bitch is being annoying. You know, normally I don't like to make fun of fat people or fat women in general, but my inner troll is just like having a field day with her right now. Fat ass bitch! You can't even fucking swim and you as big as a whale! Can't even use a toilet right, let alone sit on it! He's only kissing your feet cause it tastes like pork chop! Yeah. I'm a troll, ho! See, I don't like bashing on fat chicks! You like smashing on fat chicks! Shut up! That's when we freaking go back to the mansion and somebody's robbing it! And then they go downstairs to confront the motherfucker and beat the shit out of him! Like like a bounce. Tyson wouldn't hit him like that. He wouldn't. Oh. My 
Mike Tyson would freaking bite his ear off. Tyson would really hit him like bitch. Pause. Play that in slow motion. So then we learned that the white dude was trying to set them up so the fucking Mexican dude can steal all the money and they can frame them. But wouldn't the plan involve him actually getting the money and them framing him instead of acting like... I, I don't know. The motherfucking plot was just to get the money and make them look like they bad guys. But it obviously didn't work. Blame the fucking writer of the movie. Who she stars in anyway. So the girls reject any type of payment for being with the fucking old man. And he's so happy that he go out dancing to the club with Halle Berry. But since at the club, the motherfucking old man had a heart attack. Hey, I would have a heart attack too if fucking Halle Berry dropped it low on me. Shit. hospital before the old man died and he told Halle Berry that her fucking great grandmother that she's supposed to be playing as don't even have a granddaughter so he knew the whole time and then the old motherfucker died and gave them the money even though his son obviously should have deserved it they went off and owned a big ass chicken restaurant and a fucking hair salon got their boyfriends in on it too and then that's the end of the fucking movie what I uh, just this movie doesn't work. I established that men don't want women for their bodies and women don't want men for their money. But seriously, if you watch this freaking movie, it clearly looks like some Playboy Mansion shit. It was miscasted. You can't make freaking Halle Berry look ugly. All the jokes are freaking weird and out of place, but Halle Berry's ass is in the right place half the time. So that's a plus. Still, though, I can't believe that, like, a female writer would write The Flavor of Love. No, seriously, image this. You got some really hot freaking black chick hanging out with a really hot old man. He's gonna give them their money, and then after that, they're gonna ruin motherfucking all of television because their ratings is so high, and then after that... They're not even gonna put music videos on motherfucking MTV anymore. And then after that, all fucking television is ruined because all those fucking real life shows are fucking ruining fucking television. I hate Jersey Shore. But I fuck Jay Wow. It sucks. It's your fault, Halle Berry. Shit. I'm finna go on the fucking internet right now. And watch me motherfucking real television. And it's not gonna be porn. Or maybe it will be. Uh, who, who knows? Shit. I'm gonna go look up Halle Berry naked right now. Halle Berry, Halle Berry.